Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Happy Friday. We're back with another weekly favorite, so let's just get right into it. First up is my new purse. I got it from J. Crew. Well, I ordered it online, I didn't go in store. And it's this really beautiful crocodile style leather. Um, it's actually navy, it looks black to the at first glance. It just looks but the shade is deepest navy, and um, if you look closely or like in the light, it's navy. I really wanted a navy purse, so I wish it was a tad. Uh, more noticeable navy instead of like it's so dark it almost looks black but I just couldn't pass it up I think it's so so pretty it just has a really classic shape like it's um the perfect size I love this size purse it's like all my go-to bags are this size um it's not too big not too small it has this really beautiful gold hardware um like I love this big U I it just the details in this purse are so stunning. Uh, the side has like this gold hardware. Uh, the strap is a really good length. And it also has this little um, carrier, which you can take off the straps and just use this. But um, I love a good strap, so I keep it on. But I love that it has this handle. So yeah, really obsessed with this. I love it so much. It comes in um, like solid leather as well in green and I think a few other shades. And they have like a pink one that has kind of like a snake skin print on it. So there's a lot of very of the same style so check it out if you like this purse okay now we have a skincare favorite this is the make prem hydrate me micro tension cream and we've talked about the make prem safe me cream before mm -hmm. it's our all-time favorite moisturizer it just truly hydrates the skin while being very lightweight but we had saw that they carried this one at target now and we love this brand so much that we thought might as well try it because mm -hmm. we do have such dry skin, especially in the winter. Yeah, and, and they don't have the Safe Me Relief Cream at, at Target. Target. No, you can just get it um, like on Amazon. So this one, I will say they're about the same price. I think they're about $35. Uh, and this one you get less product but, but it's so much more dense yeah it's very thick and so a little goes a long way and it does end up being like once you start um you know putting it on your face them. massaging it into your face uh, it does become of a thinner consistency like the safe me cream mm -hmm. but anyways this one has more oils in it and i find that it truly truly hydrates the skin so well without being greasy i actually do feel like it's greasy but i feel like it's really? almost like well you have less dry skin than me yeah but it's uh, i mean i love this so much i feel like it has helped my skin immensely yeah me but too i think of it as more of like an overnight mask like i would never use this during the day because it leaves or at least on me it leaves a tacky oily feeling and i love that for nighttime because i feel like everything is just like soaking in as you sleep but for the day um i wouldn't use it and then the save me relief cream is so lightweight that even though it's so hydrating, that can be used day or night. And I think we mentioned that last year when we talked about mm -hmm. it. Like, I have used that in the day or night. It's, like, so lightweight. This one's just heavier, but it hydrates even more than that Maybe one. she's using more product than me. I use the tiniest amount. Like, I'm going to show you the inside. It looks like I barely used it. I have, like, so much left. Um... But I actually think I could wear this during the day. My skin is so dry. It doesn't really leave an oily residue on me at all. It literally soaks into the skin mm -hmm. and just makes it very supple and hydrated. So I guess it just depends on how dry your skin actually mm -hmm. is. Um, but regardless, it's not like a super, super thick overnight cream where you know like when it has like the build up on your face and that you obviously couldn't wear during the day. I wouldn't say this is that. I think that it's very oil base. I mean, you can get a, you can get a good idea. Like, let's yeah. just show you. It's a it's a thick cream, so you can see the consistency, um, so you can get an idea of how thick it is yeah. and what it looks like. But again, I think that obviously this is intended to be used at night, but if you have really dry skin like me, you could even use it during the day, because I know a lot of people like maybe who don't want to spend $35 in a night cream and a day cream, so if you have one that you can use both, mm -hmm. obviously use SPF during the day as well, but I think depending on how dry your skin is, you could also use this during the day, but it's so so hydrating, especially in the winter time. I love this brand. I want to try so many more things by them. I know, and this smells so nice. Yeah. Um, you can just smell like all the botanical oils. There's a ton. Like if you read the ingredients on this, it is like oil after oil after oil after oil, and it's just so lovely. It's, it's very lovely. It's so nice. Okay. Okay, uh, next up is a Trader Joe's find. This, I don't know if they, I have had this in the past. I have no memory. I don't remember it. it. But it's the Trader Joe's Winter Wake Up Tea, and it says a spicy black tea blend with cinnamon and ginger. And there's 20 tea bags in here. I think it was like $3. Oh, I didn't even realize you can like pop Yeah, that yeah. 
Um, it is such a cute box too, mm -hmm. but oh my god, this tea is amazing. I actually am going to make some after we film this. Yeah, I'm going to too. It is unlike any other tea I have ever had. We have loved chai for years. Like for it has years. been our go-to tea because of like the spices. Those spices are my favorite thing. Just like the ginger and the cinnamon and the clove. Nutmeg. Like everything in chai. But this is like chai on steroids. Read what's in it, I think, on the side. It's black tea, cinnamon, orange peels, licorice, although licorice is definitely strong, ginger, natural flavors, and cloves. So it just is like a lot more spicy than normal chai, but it still is just like that warm tea that just makes you it's, feel like it's, it's a winter. beautiful blend of spices. Oh my gosh, I want to smell it. I know, it's so, so good. It's probably my new favorite tea. Like Me winter too. or not, it's yeah. my new favorite and tea. We said, yeah, you can smell them through the little baggies. Yeah. Like you can smell it, it like through cinnamon. There. And orange. You can smell a lot of the orange too. We want a candle that smells like this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just the best. We're gonna stock up before winter is over because mm -hmm. we're assuming, I mean, we know they don't sell it in the summer. So, really sad because I wish they sold it all year round. Okay, another skincare favorite. This is the Botanics Hydration Burst with Clary Sage Dual Action Cleanser for dehydrated and sensitive skin. And I had been using a few um, cleansers that I had just from PR and I was trying to test them out. And I kind of gave them the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, oh, they work even though they really dry out my skin. And I just talked about how dry my skin is. So then I thought, why am I doing this to myself? I should just use a cleanser that works with my skin. And Botanics actually sent us some other products from this hydration burst line and anything with the word hydration I'm there and this is it says it's a dual action cleanser because um, let me see it says well basically it's like a thick jelly type cleanser so it doesn't suds up at all um, so I think by dual action they say that you can use it to kind of remove your makeup like a cleansing oil and then also when you get it wet it'll mm -hmm. wipe like wash away all that makeup supply. yeah um, but I don't use it that way. I still use a cleansing oil because I don't think this is thick enough or oily enough to actually take off all my makeup. So after I go into my cleansing oil, then I put this on and a little goes a long way because it is so thick and gel-like and I just massage it into my face and I do feel like my face feels very clean and hydrated because it doesn't get so, um, it doesn't strip the skin like a lot of other cleansers. Uh, it does have a strong fragrance. Um, I guess this might be the sage. It's not a bad fragrance at all. It's pretty mm -hmm. fresh, but I don't know how much fragrance is used in this. So also keep that in mind just because fragrance does dry out your skin. Oh, but the first ingredient is olive oil. So that's interesting. So if that tells you anything, how hydrating it actually is, especially for a cleanser. So really excited that I was able to try this and it worked for my skin because it's hard to find a good winter cleanser, I would say. Mm -hmm. Okay, last up we don't have here, but we'll insert a photo, and these are so amazing. I feel like every week we have a new Trader Joe's favorite, but yeah. like truthfully, the Trader Joe's butter toffee pretzels are life-changing. I so thought good. I kept the bag, but then we, we couldn't find it, so I had thrown it away. I'll try to insert a photo. <laughs> yeah, we will. Uh, they are basically like little pretzels, and then they're coated in butter and toffee bits. Butter and comes through you can, heavy. Yeah, you can only imagine how delicious that is. They are killing it with their holiday items this year. Yeah. So good but the pretzels are the best thing I've tried that we've tried like I really like the mint brownie bar too maybe oh, that'll be in a future weekly favorite. but I those pretzels they are so so good. they're delicious if you're a fan of toffee you will love these because it's not like overpowering toffee mm -hmm. like you can you can like eat this bag of pretzels I swear in one sitting if you really want it to so delicious and that is all we have for this week's favorites and we'll be back next week for another one so we'll see you then